It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to professional football. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am Lepicas with your practice notes for 8:30. Um, this actually officially was the last day of Vikings training camp 2020. We now start the regular season tomorrow, um, so another week of practices and cuts coming up. Uh, pretty exciting times around Minnesota Vikings camp. Um, not a whole heck of a lot of uh, news and notes and nuggets today, but these do come courtesy of Courtney Cronin. Uh, let's start on the defensive side of the football. Not a whole heck of a lot. If you watched our channel earlier today, you'll see a couple things. Obviously, the Vikings traded for defensive end Yannick Ngakwe. Um, which was a huge move for them. Uh, it's going to be, if, if Hunter is healthy and able to play, having him and Hunter on the same line is going to be phenomenal. So much pass rush. Uh, we already talked about it, so I don't need to get into it too much right now. Another little nugget was Dan Chesina is moving from wide receiver to safety. So uh, interesting. And, you know, that actually probably helps his chances of making the team, though they are still very far-fetched at this point. But if he's impressive on special teams, um he can sneak in that way. So there's still a, a sliver of hope that Chasina can make the final 53. It is an extreme long shot. I think he's best suited on the practice squad, especially if he's switching positions. But uh, we'll see what happens there. And the other news on the defensive side of the football is uh, Daniel Hunter is out for the 12th straight day. And Again, I mean, there was reports saying the Vikings are, you know, hope to have him back soon. Again, I haven't really heard concrete what that is, what's going on. Um, 12 missed days of practice is never a good thing, no matter how you want to sugarcoat it. So, uh, again, but now you got Yannick in town to uh, give the Vikings another number one pass rushing option. So if, it, if we do have to roll with Yannick and um, Odenabo for the first couple weeks, that's fine. I mean, I will live with that combination. Um, I, I think that'll they'll be better than most teams have. So, um, yeah, that's the defensive side of the ball. Not much to talk about there. Uh, as far as offense goes, uh, it was like an off day for a lot of the veterans. Riley Reeve, Rashad Hill, Adam Thielen, Kyle Rudolph all did not practice today. Uh, with Reeve and Hill out, Brian O'Neill played left tackle, and uh, Udo played right tackle for the first team. Um, it is interesting that they're moving Brian O'Neill to the left side, so perhaps uh, you know when, when Riley Reeve does go, his contract gets too high, whether that be next year or whatever, um, maybe they do try Brian O'Neill on the left side. And we can't just assume Ezra Cleveland is going to be the, the left tackle of the future. Maybe he's best suited at right tackle. So uh, curious to see how I'm curious curious to see how he did there uh, because that's something that might be uh, what we look at down the road. So Dakota Dozier took all the left guard reps today. Um, again, sounds like it was another very shaky day for the offense. Kirk Cousins slammed down his helmet in frustration. So you know Kirk Cousins is slamming his helmet down. Things are not going well. Um, and this might just be piggybacking off the bad scrimmage they had on Friday where the offense wasn't exactly clicking on all cylinders. Um, you know, who knows what, what the reasons are. Uh, if, you know, they can't really tackle in, this, in these games and you can't get your run game going the way you want it to or the way it really is, you know, that could have a whole negative effect on the entire offense. So, again, not super um, reassuring news about the offense last couple of days. So hopefully that's something they can get ironed out here before week one. Uh, one thing that looks like it's going to be ironclad, speaking of ironing, is Alexander Hollins making this team. Another impressive day today, flying down the field, making great grabs. Um, again, this guy is, is probably going to make his way on the roster, whether it's the fifth or sixth wide receiver, if they do keep that many. I think Alexander Hollins will uh, make this team. It just seems like it's a given. Um, so much buzz about this guy. So if you try to get him through uh, practice squad, I don't think he's going to make it. So that's it. Those are your notes and nuggets from the final day of Vikings 2020 training camp. What a camp it's been. Um, a lot of news coming out of it, a lot of excitement. Uh, again, hopefully this offense gets their shit together soon because we do not need to have um, you know, a flaccid offense the first couple weeks of the season. So until then, guys, we'll be back later with more of your Vikings daily videos. And always remember to keep your skull in your hole.